eczema. Hold for me, neck in a give me eczema. Big baller got me Benzema. Anyway, you see me, you a fifty ten killer. All right, so we're back inside the juggle right here on Slam 100.5. It's just about 6.27 on the inside. And, of course, we continue our discussion. Your rest and recovery so far, Keston. How do you sort of, um, or how have you been, been treating with your minor niggle that you would have picked up in the first leg of the last match, the last round that you, you guys played in the Champions League? Uh, well, it's just it's a hamstring, a hamstring. So, yeah, the rest is plenty. Um, just eyes, um, treatment to the physios, massage, and that's about it. Cause I currently put pressure to 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 make it worse. Yeah, well, I believe the last time we spoke, I know, um, you know, I was just trying to get a bit of a uh, an idea of, of what you would have felt. What what caused the the substitution? What caused you to to, to um, decide that you know you 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 had enough? Well, it was before in our league game. Um, I was making a sprint and I feel a little, little thing, not much. But as a football, I think you can still play, play with it. So I went on normal and play. <laughs> and then, um, well, in the game now, I started to feel it, uh, feel it. But I think it was just past normal. So second half now, you're still cold from the from the dressing room. So after that, about. The 47 minute. I went on a sprint and that that is when I feel I feel it pull a little bit. You know, one of the questions that we had prepared for um our, our, our holistic health haven segment was, you know, what is the difference or how can you tell the difference between muscle soreness and an injury question? You know, I mean your experience as a footballer and what you're saying there, you know, sometimes you, you feel as though it's not much and you you try to play through before you realize it's really an, an injury, you know. How 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 can yeah. you really tell the difference between one and the other? I think muscle soreness, is soreness is just when your muscle tight. I think basically, and with with it injury now, uh, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a bit difficult to to, to, to explain. I think I'll do that more for the, for the fitness guys. <laughs> uh, or the persons who played at a high level, like Stefano and I, like, you know, the SSFL yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, second division. You know, uh, speaking about SSFL, Kestan, what, what would have been your... Um, what school did you attend? What school did you represent um, in, in the SSFL? In the SSFL, I represent Prez. Prez? Prez San Fernando? Yeah, yeah Prez San Fernando. Lions, boy, the Lions. Decent school. I mean, it doesn't have the yeah. reputation and, and the, the regal as a, as a Queens Royal College or a, or a Fatima College, Stefano. Not at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did I did warn you, Keston, that this is about Rabs and Banter. Right? Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. so, guys, we are inside the juggle here and um, you're speaking with Keston Julian. Of course, also tuned in David Warner and Akili Thomas while we try to um, rectify this audio issue. We're inviting you guys to call in, you know, have a chat with Keston Julian, right? He is Trinidad and Tobago's expected latest participant in the UEFA Champions League. The last person to do so would have been Kaleem Highland, the current national team captain, when he represented Genk uh, from the Belgium League in about 2011 12 that season you know playing against the likes of our beloved chelsea stefano yeah yeah um so keston is joining us all the way from moldova keston you mentioned that you have a, a, a few days off um mm-hmm. you know before before uh getting into into action again you know what what is what is the a typical day off in the life of a of a professional footballer what does it look like um well when i got a day off if it is just want to rest and relax because you just be playing football all week <laughs> so you just want to you know get some way to, to relax your mind and do what you like to do if it's play game go in the city wherever i think most footballers are just they just be home and watch netflix and and play and chill, game and chill Gaston? yeah netflix yeah. and chill 
Only we don't know about just Netflix. Oh, oh, okay. You sure about that? <laughs> you sure about that? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, just say, you know, I want to ask Keston. <laughs> ask him. Keston, you're a Trini man. Mm-hmm. Right? You're accustomed to the Trini culture. How yeah. difficult was it for you going across there in terms of adapting to the culture? How quickly you think you adapted to the culture? What difficulties you would have faced and how you would have overcome those difficulties across there? I would say when I just now signed my first professional contract in Slovakia, um, well, the weather is a big factor because it'd be very cool. Right. Um, I think it, to, to adapt, because I don't really miss home. I don't have homesick or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's just when I went across, it was just the weather. And well, you know, well, sure, that football and European football are two different things. Mm-hmm. And well, the football speed was uh, something very hard for me to pick up. And well, actually, take about six, seven months, close to a year, to, to develop European football style. Right. Um, but I think now I adapted well, so I'm still learning. And I think still have far to go. We're going to just uh, ju- jump inside a quick break. Stay on the line. Of course, we still have David and, and Akini. We're going to try to get back to them. And of course, um, as we're winding down, 15 minutes or so left in the program, we, we want to get a, um, a feel from Keston of how does it feel to be on the, on the brink of this historic achievement, you know? He's heading to the Champions League. Uh, he's grouped with Two, at least two of the biggest names in European football by by history, uh, by the history at least, Real Madrid and Inter Milan, and of course you know he he is little Trini boy from a small league in Moldova, getting getting ready to face up against the likes of Vinicius, you know, Asensio, Lautaro, Etal, and of course we want to know how he feels as these are prospects lie ahead it's the juggle right here with on slam 100.5 it's me jassy marik of course i'm joined by stefano oliveri we're going to take a quick break and when we come back we continue our discussions with keston julian oh, 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 oh. 